Nde wonu mama Jesus. Afa mubu Madam Teresa Omembo Jisa all the way from Abagana. <laughs> and of course the woman beside me is the sister beside you. <laughs> My dear you are a woman regardless. <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the woman beside me. Otherwise of course the sister beside me. Kinu ba faga na sister Coco. Oh sister Coco. Kosi Sochiku. Oh Kosi Sochiku. Oh yes, you know. <laughs> The only things you do are things that are to the likeness of God. Wow. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Are you truly a reverend, sister? I was called by the Most High God. You were called by the Most High God. Wow. Well, you ignored that call, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so let us go on. Welcome to another episode of Quick Pronunciation Hall. Of course, we're pronouncing words that are related to, you know, what you do. <laughs> the first word. Oh, this is easy. This is easy. You know, to have some sort of agreement. Yes. So what, how, how do you pronounce that? This particular word now. This particular word. <laughs> Convenance. <laughs> From the song. Convenance keeping God. Oh, yes. <laughs> there is no one like there you. There is no one indeed. <laughs> Alpha and Omega. Well, Alpha and Omega will be disappointed in you because the pronunciation of that word is not convenant. <laughs> the pronunciation is covenant. Oh yes, covenant. Covenant. There is no M after the first C O. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a covenant with God to be a reverend sister. Of course I do. How I keep would... it tight. I hold it dear oh, to my heart. Of course, of course. <laughs> How would the Lord feel that you broke that covenant? She what? Broke over. I mean, I saw you in a hotel. <laughs> Me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go over to the next word because the breeze is blowing and your nyash will soon be exposed. <laughs> The next word. Colony. After all, we were colonized. We were colonized. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we were not colonized. We were, however, colonized. <laughs> because the correct pronunciation of that word is colony. C colony. Colony, yes. Yeah, colony. Not colony. <laughs> How does it feel to be daft? No, look, I'm there in my diary. Of course, of course. Your diary where you have all the numbers of your clients. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just go over to the next word. This oh. one is very simple now. Yes, I mean the bird. Yes, the bird. How do you pronounce it? Dove. Dove. <laughs> Honestly, you are so ignorant. I don't even know how to help you anymore. <laughs> the correct pronunciation is dove. Yes, but you are correct, though, if we're talking about the past tense of the word dive. That was what I was talking about. I mentioned it earlier. I said the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you have become deaf, too. <laughs> the next word. <laughs> oh, oh. Faith. Faith. Well, that is correct. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is correct. Faith is the correct pronunciation. Because my faith in God. Your faith very in God. Strong. Yes. <laughs> very strong indeed. <laughs> the next word. <laughs> oh, this is easy. Absolutely. Easy. Very easy now. Very easy. <laughs> because I am running a race to meet my redeemer. Redeemer. Heaven. Heaven. <laughs> is the place we all, you know. Are called to go on the last day. <laughs> well, my dear, we might be called to go to heaven, truly, but not here. Do you know why? Because the correct pronunciation is not heaven. Mm -hmm. It is haven. Yes, haven. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah, my sister, my sister. The final word. Mm. Mm. <laughs> is this an insult or what? Well, if you feel insulted, so be it. <laughs> if not that I was called, I would have pulled strings now. <laughs> called to where? To serve the Most High God. And who is the Most High God? Jesus, my Redeemer. Oh, well, <laughs> Jesus doesn't, you know, frequent Royal Palm Field hotels. <laughs> <laughs> so let us just pronounce the word. I go there for evangelism every day. What did you buy? What did you buy at that pharmacy store close to that um, hotel? You buy something all the time. Anytime you go there for your so-called evangelism. <laughs> oh, the pharmacist is my very good friend. 
So let's not lie. Let's oil. just pronounce the word. <laughs> Anointing oil. Goya. In a pharmacy. Goya. Goya. <laughs> oh, just pronounce the word. Just pronounce the word. Devote. Devote. That is what is written there. Please don't stress me. I have to go back to the convent. In fact. Okay. Oh, hold on a bit. Okay. Let's just correct you before you rush off to the hotel. Sorry. Convent. Right? <laughs> the correct pronunciation is devout. Devout. Are you a devout Christian? Me. Well, the meaning is, you know, having some sort of commitment to serving the Lord or to anything, really. I'm committed. Mm. So I'm you're devout. I'm in service. Oh. Well, you are indeed. Well, say me hello to the master you serve in that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode of Quick Pronunciation Hall. My name is Madam Teresa Mimboji. So, all the way from a bag. And that was our guest, Sister Kosi. The truth, they say hurts. She is hurt. <laughs>